Many of you have supported InterOpen from the start on its journey to create national open standards to help unlock the data and create new models of care for patients by standardizing the data exchange interfaces between systems. Do out with the proprietary and bring in common interfaces to make development quicker, cheaper, and easier. And as a clinician, I thank you. On Tuesday this week, I called a GP colleague of mine up from Southampton. His name is Bruce, and he helped start me on my IT career, for better or for worse. Bruce and I talked about what progress has been made in how documents are transferred between hospitals and GPs, the fact that documents are basically all still unstructured digital as opposed to unstructured paper, that courses are now appearing for surgeries to send their admin staff to learn how to interpret the content of letters so that it can help the GPs process this as the GPs are all really overburdened. We discussed interop and he said, Amir, if we could just receive the data that was coded, click on a button, accept, amend, reject, that would be magic. Even if it was just on medications that the patient was discharged on, the entire GP population would be on a high for a while and patients would also be safer. Can you help make this happen before I retire? So he, officially he retires in eight years, unofficially told me to say that he retires in two years. We've got to crack on with this. So I hope that's why you're here, to help make a difference to our colleagues like Bruce. He called me at 8 p.m. after he'd finished his home visit, having started at 8 a.m. piling through paperwork. Getting this kind of interrupt delivered is actually going to be magic. And I call that the Robin Hood principle of information sharing, where we have the information rich, share with the information poor to improve care at the coalface. Since our last Clinicians on Fire event in November, here's my top 10 list of what the InterOpen membership should be proud of. Because of your energy, drive and involvement, the following have all been possible. One, as of last night, going through the membership list, InterOpen is 225 member organisations strong. For example, at least 140 IT vendors, 40 care organisations, key arms length bodies, NHS Digital, NHS England. Two universities have joined, Newcastle and Northumbria. And I even saw the MOD Defence Medical Services Division has recently joined. So that's not all been updated just on the website, but we have an increasing group of people who actually want to take part in this journey with us. As a community, number two, as a community backed by key leaders in NHS Digital, we have co-developed, trialled, modified, and are making business as usual a process for creating national fire profiles called Care Connect. And we call this the fire curation process, so Dr. Munish Jakani will talk about this today. Three, using this process, we produce 14 national Care Connect profiles to date. These will form the building blocks of, national GP, of the National GP Connect and Transfer of Care specifications. And we have a vendor member, Blackpair, who's actually recently published their first vendor-led profile to crack on with some integration ahead of making that a national profile. Number four, InterOpen has been referenced as a key interoperability community in the local health and care exemplar bids that NHS England is running to support the creation of regional information sharing platforms, each covering around five million patients. Five, the Care Connect profiles and APIs are being referenced in national contracts for providers. Six, we have the support of NHS England's CCIO, Dr. Simon Eccles, to build and grow the vendor community, and he's approached us directly to attend our next board meeting to try and understand how they can engage better with the community and support us. Seven, our RIVA discussion platform and activity continues to grow and individuals and vendors are asking each other questions and even getting into some challenging discussions at times, having debates in the open. In addition, several vendors have started sharing their information models for problem lists on the platform. We're trying to change the culture of how we work together. Eight, 
Interopen incorporated as a community interest company on the 12th of April this year. Nine, Interopen, the PRSB and the Royal College of Physicians on Tuesday signed a memorandum of understanding to work together to bid for support to get standards into the service. And 10, we've been asked by EHI Live to run the entire interoperability this stream this October. So we really have lots to celebrate in a short period of time. And uh, there is an unlimited bar at the end of the event where you can carry on these celebrations together. That is not why you attended, I know, I know. And Interopen has great friends like Orion Health to support us. So today, this venue catered for with the team who've made it happen, free for you all. You will get your £25 back. You will get that back, don't worry. Free for you all is because of Orion Health's generosity as they've sponsored the full amount of the event costs. So thank you to David Hay for coming, Katie Ewins, who's the marketing manager at the back. Give us a little wave. Thank you very much, and your team. David Munich and I, with our expert fire colleagues on hand to help, plan to take you today through a deeper dive into the innards of fire at this clinical connectathon, where we're going to use tooling developed by David Hay to learn how fire really works to build clinical scenarios. I'd, I'd like to embarrass my helpers a little bit, please. So um, if you could just raise your hand. Da David Barnett, just say hello. That's great. Jen Ellison. <laughs> <laughs> Munich is here and uh, Ian McNichol has said he'd also help out. So I just want to point out that incidentally with the vendors, David, Jen and Ian have actually been part of the team that's helped create these National Care Connect profiles. Clinical Connectathons are new for us. We need tooling to make them real. We need your energy and support today to guide us as to where we take the tools to the next level and for the next event. We're going to start with a quick intro into fire, then delve into the curation process before getting everyone to build their first fire scenario before lunch. There will be prizes and of a certain pink hue color for those of you who are willing to shout out to the group and interact about what you think we should happen in the scenarios. So just remember, we're all friends, we're all here to learn together, and I am definitely more nervous than you all today because this is my first time driving through the scenarios of the tooling. Right, let's get started. Thank you, everyone, and give a warm welcome to Dr. David Hay, who is Orion House Fire <laughs> Strategist. 